Hello, hello. Welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to be doing, well, we're just gonna be hanging out. We're gonna be doing some plant chores and I also have some updates to give y'all. I wanted to follow up on one of my last plant chore videos where we took a bunch of propagations. I wanted to show you the progress. So just some fun little updates there. And then I need to water my Wally grows. I haven't watered them in, I can't even remember the last time I watered them. I really don't have to do it very often, which is super nice, but I'm pretty sure that it needs to be done. So we're gonna take them all down and water those. We're also gonna be repotting one of my Epipremnum no IDs. I actually have it right here. It is this one that's in this kind of semi-hydro setup that I have been saying I need to repot for so long because look, it's just full of algae. Um, this is such a cool plant. It keeps getting more little holes in the leaves too. I'll have to show you what the newer leaves are looking like. Um, he's just kind of growing wild, but we definitely need to repot him. I think I'm going to throw him in one of my self-watering pots. So that'll be really great to finally get done. I'm also enjoying a nice chai, which is honestly divine. Okay, so the first thing that I'm super excited to show you is my variegated holiday cactus. This is doing so well. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me flip around the camera. Okay, this is my current favorite plant, which I'm sure comes as no surprise, seeing as this was one of my top wishlist plants for so long, and I recently acquired it. Um, so I have just been checking on this a ton and just getting so excited over the new growth. I really wasn't expecting it to just immediately start growing after I got it, but we have that piece what is it called like is it considered a leaf I guess we have that leaf right there and then we also have our segment is that a better word for it I don't know we have this one coming out here look at how variegated that is like that is crazy and it's still kind of growing they come out small and kind of expand it's similar to most jungle cactus if you've grown like any type of ripsalis or the rickrack or fern leaf cactus they kind of come out small and then expand but yeah it's doing so well which i'm just obviously thrilled about and i'm also starting to see some roots now you can see them right there which is so exciting that just happened within the past couple days because i checked um well i've been checking pretty frequently and i haven't seen any until now so super excited about that so yeah i'm doing really great also, I was away last weekend and I came home and saw this bloom coming in on my Hoya Matilde, which I'm so excited about because this thing always has like 50 peduncles on it, but nothing ever happens. They never develop. Um, this is the furthest I've ever seen one develop, so I'm really hoping that it just keeps going and actually comes to full fruition and blooms for me. So yeah, I've been just like looking at this every day and I'm just so excited. I moved this gal over here for this little segment. I'm just gonna quickly talk about today's sponsor, which is Native. You've probably heard me talk about Native's deodorants before because I love them so much. I've been using them for years, but today I am here to talk about their lovely body washes. I have been obsessed with these recently. They make my shower routine feel so luxurious. They lather so well, even though they're sulfate free and they leave my skin so soft and silky. They are of course vegan and cruelty-free, made with plant-based ingredients and gentle cleansers. Also, I don't know about you, but it's so satisfying for me to be able to match my body wash scent with my deodorant scent. One of the best things about Native is their scent selection. There's so many to choose from and they're always coming out with new ones too. Right now their cabin collection is out for fall and they all sound just absolutely divine. In my opinion, this is the best season for scents. The one that I got from the Cabin Collection is Wildwood and Cardamom. I love anything woodsy and spicy and this one did not disappoint. It also has a, a bit of sweetness to it as well. Mmm, it smells so good. The other ones that I got are Sea Salt and Cedar and I actually picked this one up because one of you guys recommended it to me and I love it, so thank you. And then of course, my OG Lavender and Rose. I always have one of their Lavender and Rose deodorants on hand. It's one of my absolute favorites. So of course I had to get it in the body wash version. I was also very tempted by the warm cider and cinnamon from the Cabin Collection. That just sounds so good as well. Of course, the seasonal collections are limited edition. So if you're wanting to grab a fall scent, I would do it soon. 
In fact, you can grab it right now at a discount by using the link down below in the description box. Three body washes are normally $27, but with my code WILDFERN7, you can get them for $17, which is 40% off. Pretty darn good, if I do say so. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this portion of the video. It is always an absolute pleasure. Okay, I just moved my tripod out of the way over here, and while I was setting it there, I looked at my Alocasia Fry deck, which I had just recently said in one of my videos, it has not been doing well since I repotted it. It has been dropping more leaves than usual, and it hasn't been growing at all, and it used to grow a ton, and I kind of attributed it to either the repot or the fact that I moved it to a new spot, even though it's still get, like, as you can see, it's getting sun right now, like, it's not in the, it hasn't been dark. Um, so I was kind of confused, but you guys, I just looked at it and it is literally crawling with spider mites. I'm gonna try to show you, it's so hard to see. You can see, can you see the web there? There's webbing between the middle, like the sinus of all the leaves. And then you can see along the sides. <gasps> Like, oh my gosh, every leaf, you guys. Oh, I feel so bad, the poor thing, the poor thing. And I actually just showered this off this morning and I didn't even notice because it wasn't getting like direct light like it is right now. So it wasn't really visible. Oh my gosh, there's one crawling in there right now. It's so annoying, but I'm glad that I have an explanation for why this plant has not been thriving recently. Okay, so I first wanted to give an update on my Monster Peru cuttings. They honestly didn't do anything for the first few weeks and they're still not really doing much, but I saw yesterday that we do have, wait, do we even have anything? I swear I saw root yesterday. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, well there's a growth point there. Is that a growth point or a root? Oh no, that's a root, that's a root. Okay, that must be what I saw yesterday. There is one root coming out of this one. And then as for the others, I do not think they have rooted yet. Oh man, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for longer, I guess. Now I'm worried about all my plants having spider mites. Yeah, so that's how it's going with this one. Monster Peru, notoriously hard to root in my experience and in a lot of people's experience it seems based on the comments that I got in that video. And um, what else? Oh yes. Oh my goodness, also look at this. My Black Pagoda lipstick plant is trying to bloom on me, which is so cool because this is a small plant. I just bought these cuttings like not too long ago and already blooms coming out, like oh my goodness. Oh and then this of course literally obsessed i don't know if you saw this on my instagram but my um hornia zebrina is blooming which is incredible oh my gosh i've never seen the center like that before <gasps> i did not know that's what it looked like in the middle what oh my goodness i'm seeing so many things because the sun is out right now i normally do my plant care either early in the morning or in the evening once the sun has gone down so Wow, it's nice to kind of inspect everybody during the daylight hours. Okay, anyways, what am I trying to show you? My Monstera Sandaliana. Okay, so it looks pretty sad, right? It's all like curled and miserable looking, but we do have some roots. And at first it was just one root, but now we have multiple roots going on in here. So perlites. Um, is definitely the way to go. I mean, I have Lekka on the bottom too, but I don't think that that's really necessary, honestly. Um, just perlite is so good for rooting plants. I think water is my go-to just because of how easy and simple it is. But perlite is definitely like, if I have something that is more finicky to root, then I will go with that. That's why I just immediately put this in perlite because I've had basically... Not zero. I have had some of these root in my prop box, but I guess that was pretty late. Um, anyways, I have not had good success rooting these, so that's why I decided to go for that. But yeah, doing really well. Obviously going to keep it in here for longer, though. My mandula and jewel orchids are still rooting in water. I just topped the water up yesterday. I'm pretty sure these are all, like, basically ready to be potted up. So I'll have to do that sometime. I don't think I'm going to do that today, but... Um, it can be done anytime, so I will be doing it soon. 
Oh, and also my Mykins is actually doing really well. Look at these roots. I was so impressed to see this. Oh my goodness, because I have had trouble rooting philodendron Mykins in the past, which might sound a little ridiculous because I feel like a lot of people have a really easy time rooting this plant, and I guess I am now too. But um, yeah, wow, look at that. So satisfying, those long roots in there. So pretty soon I'm going to, actually, should I do it today? I think I might do it today because my Mykins is due for watering, so I can just plant the, the propagations in with it in a new pot and then water everything through. I might actually do that. I'm gonna leave these out. Okay, and then lastly, I just wanted to give some root progress for all of my beautiful silver Hoyas here. So as you can see, they are rooting up just fine. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so satisfying to see. I love that so much. So I can actually probably pot most of these up pretty soon. I'll probably leave them for like another week and then do that. But yeah, they're all doing incredible. So, so happy with the last trade that I did. And my new Guinea Ghost is doing amazing as well. That is a new leaf right there that it just put out recently. Looks stunning considering I underwatered this because I was out of town, but yeah, still doing amazing. Okay, just wanted to show you my Monstera Dubia cuttings that we put into sphagnum in one of my last videos. I don't see any roots yet um, in any of them, which, I mean, it hasn't been that long, so that's fine, but the leaves look pretty good. Sphagnum is damp, so I don't need to water them today or anything, but I just wanted to show you. This is the one that was the top cut, so the leaf is a little bit flimsier. Yeah, it feels really delicate, so I don't know if that's... And then look... This growth is like black here, so obviously that's dead. Um, so we'll see if this pulls through. Again, I don't see any roots on this one, but the other leaves look good. Another big leaf right here, and nope, no roots. This one looks really nice. I think this is my favorite one, actually. Look at that. It's beautiful. And... Oh my gosh, there's a root on this one. <gasps> you are putting in the work, my friend. Okay, I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see on the camera. You can see that yellow thing right there is where the root is hitting the glass. Oh my gosh, like how exciting is that? <gasps> oh my goodness, this is gonna be my new Monstera Dubia. This is gonna be the new one that's gonna start growing up a plank. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I am so excited about it. I got some comments on that video asking why I didn't leave more leaves on a vine and then start that over, like root that, pot it up, and then put that on the plank. And the reason is because I don't know if it's just been my experience or if this is an actual thing, but when I remove the Monstera dubia from the plank, it doesn't reattach. So if I were to do that, it, it really would be pointless because none of those leaves would be attached to the plank. So they wouldn't be getting the benefit of the stability and it wouldn't help it size up more quickly. It would honestly just like be difficult and just not look as good and be harder to work with. So I just want them to be able to attach right away. So, so once this puts out a couple of leaves, I'm hoping to guide it to the plank and get it to attach just right away. So that's why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. And I'm probably going to use a couple of these cuttings and have two vines growing up the plank, just like similar to what I had. Okay, I think that we are going to do the Wally grows now. So I, what am I gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna take the four that are planted in down into the shower, that's where I water them. And then the Mykins, I'll just keep separate because we're gonna deal with that one afterwards.
Okay, so here they all are. I cannot believe how lush these plants have gotten. Well, except for the Brazil, honestly. That one is still the smallest of the bunch, the saddest looking. Well, the lime, lemon lime, is kind of sad looking as well, but that's just because it's so thirsty. Um, yeah, I definitely noticed it was thirsty like a couple weeks ago and just put off watering it because it is, I don't know, I guess it's not that much work, but in my brain it seems like more work to like take it down from the wall and everything. And I usually let these sit in the tub overnight just to like fully drip dry and everything. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that tonight because I have more plants to water so I might need the tub. But I will probably let them sit in here for a couple of hours. So whenever I take them down, what I do is go through them all and remove any yellow leaves. So I can see, you know, there's some yellow leaves right here. Try to rip that off. My goodness, this one's really on there. Okay, got it. And then anything else, like these dried up brown ones I remove. Just parts of the sheath but I kind of like to remove that too just looks nicer I'm so obsessed with the green Hartley philodendron I just think that it is so pretty like honestly one of the prettiest philodendron it's so underrated grows so well I love it Okay, so that one really doesn't have many yellow leaves. This one, however, I know there's going to be several, so just start pulling them off. Okay, and then I just water them with my shower attachment. I just spray them like right all over the pot. Um, I think that that back, back slot thing is like supposed to be for watering or I'm not even really sure. I just water the pot as normal basically. And then just let them sit in here for a while to make sure it's all drained out. And then I collect all of my dead foliage. It's time for Olive to take her heart medicine. Here you go, baby. Oh, difficult girl. Good girl, my lovey pie. Yeah. Okay, we are going to have a little repot moment here with our mykins. So my mykins is very thirsty. Um, I am behind on watering right now and yeah, some of my plants are looking quite droopy and thirsty. So yeah, I don't really have anything to say for myself. But I do get a lot of comments of people saying like, oh, all your plants are perfect and healthy and that's just not the case, you know, like there are definitely times when they do take a beating because usually because of mental health reasons, but lately it has just been simply because I've been so busy and I fell behind on watering. Anyways, I'm sure it'll bounce back just fine and we are going to add all these beautiful new cuttings. So I've grabbed this pot, which is probably about a six inch, I'm going to guess. Um, so let's add some soil to it. And I just checked to make sure that this fits in the Wally Grow planter and it fits okay. It's not like a perfect fit, but it fits good enough. Now 
I'm just going to as gently as possible because this plant isn't in perfect condition right now. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, it really needed a repot too. Holy smokes. Do you guys see these roots? Oh man, okay. Oh, and there's my bobby pin. I was trying to keep the vines in there. They love to jump out. The philodendron pots. Okay. Well. Okay, that's good. I'm going to add a little bit more potting mix. take out some of our cuttings. Okay, maybe one at a time. Take, oh, here they come, okay. Oh, this one doesn't have any roots, okay. Looks like the rest of them do though, thankfully. Or most of them at least, yeah, okay. So, pretty long roots, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna find a nice spot, pop them in. It's beneficial to take st single leaf or single node cuttings like this when you're wanting to create a more full pot like I am because these are all gonna turn into their own vines, like their own little plant essentially. So that's amazing. I'm probably gonna keep most of them like facing the front because that's just where the light source, you know, it's gonna be hanging on the wall so I can't really put them all around but I can definitely use all of the front half of the pot. Okay, that one doesn't have very many roots, so I'm just gonna put it back in there. Whoop, there it goes. Prop it up here. Okay, and then I'll probably just let these two cuttings root for a little bit longer. Now, we just have to fill her up. And I'm just paying attention to all the roots and making sure that they're covered. This is definitely becoming another one of my all-time favorite philodendron. Um, like, I love this. I love the heart leaf, like I was saying. Just like trailing philodendron, I feel like I didn't really appreciate them that much in the past, but now I really appreciate them. I really just appreciate my whole plant wall setup. I honestly think that if I could only keep a few plants, I would opt to keep my plant wall because it just looks so good. It gives such a good vibe to the space. It's so low maintenance. Um, like I think that the Wally Grows are such an amazing option for like decor wise, even for people who don't know anything about plants because it is just so easy to throw in some philodendron and it just looks amazing. You only have to water it like, you know, not very often. And um, yeah, it's just so gorgeous. So I have been loving it. Okay, so I think all my cuttings are in. So I put a bunch of them over here, as you can see, and then some on the other side. I don't even know where they are now, right here, I think. There's a few on this side. Okay, now we are gonna go water this plant because it definitely, definitely needs it. The poor thing. Okay, 
So like I said, we are going to be repotting my Epipremnum No ID um, into my self-watering pot with, I'm gonna be using my Crystal Star Nursery Soilless Mix. This plant is just so cool. I can't believe it's getting fenestrations when the leaves are so small. It is just the cutest thing ever. So really wanna upgrade its setup here. Um, can't tell how much water's in here, but I guess I'm just gonna empty this out. Actually, I don't wanna do that into the soil that's on this potting mat. Let me go dump the soil off of here. Okay, that's better. Okay, <laughs> well, we got lots of roots, so that's good. And they look healthy. There's lots of like white fuzzy roots. Look at that. So satisfying. This plant obviously wants to climb, so I was thinking I might put it underneath my new forest setup thing that I recently did a video on. I might put it underneath and kind of like lean it against the pole, I'm thinking, so we'll see. But that's what I have in mind, because then it will get some light and it will have something to kind of, I don't know if it will, if it would climb it. I mean, maybe it would, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can kind of prop it up against there. Okay, there's actually a lot of roots for this small pot, but let me see. Hmm. I think it will be okay for now in this pot. Okay, that's gonna be good for now. Um, I definitely need a self-watering pot that's between this size and the larger black ones that I have. Um, I think that there's like a five or a 5.5 inch that I've been meaning to order um, because that would have been perfect for this, but honestly, it'll be fine in here for a while. And then the next time I repot, I'll probably just throw it in one of those round black ones that I have. Okay, so next step is to take this to the sink and rinse it through. I just wanna rinse off all the dust and everything. Okay, so this is gonna be its temporary home. It looks kind of spindly and hilarious. Um, but yeah, I just kinda want it propped up on there. It, I'm gonna leave it here, watch it grow a little bit more, and then probably figure out a more permanent home for it. 
So yeah, he's just gonna hang out and hopefully he likes the Crystal Star mix. Next I'm just gonna put the Mikins back up on the wall. I mean, it looks kind of eh right now, especially because it's so thirsty, but once these fill out and start growing down, it's going to look so good. Okay, so I came to possibly get these to hang them back up so that I could include it, include it in the video, but they are still so wet and like the leaves are super wet and it's just going to be like dripping everywhere. So I just took them out and put them on a towel and the mat and I'm just going to let them dry for a couple of hours. And then I will come back on and we'll hang them back up. It's probably going to be dark by then, but um, yeah, I guess I will finish the video then. All right, good evening. So as you saw, I just put my plant wall back together. So I guess that is going to conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and doing some planty things and checking out some updates. Once again, thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box if you're interested in picking up some body washes. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Try